Good morning everyone. I am very excited. It is moving day. Well, moving day part one. I think we're going to kind of do it in stages because we've got a lot of all of our furnitures and storage and boxes and kitchen stuff. Um, and then obviously a lot of our stuff is here at my parents. So I think we're doing the kind of storage furniture stuff today and then maybe the rest of my stuff from my parents tomorrow. So it's gonna be like a gradual moving all weekend, but I love watching moving vlogs. So I thought I would vlog this. It'll be nice for me to watch back one day as well. And this video is sponsored by the guys at HelloFresh. I'm so excited to be working with them again. I'm gonna be working with them over the next few months and it's just perfect partnership because I am a genuine customer. I signed up well before they even got in touch my dad introduced me to it and i absolutely love hellofresh i can't wait to get back into my own home life routine and just get hellofresh regular again and starting this week couldn't be more perfect because obviously we're moving into an empty house nothing in our fridge so i got into my hellofresh app last week picked all our recipes and our box is coming this sunday so i will be showing you guys what i am making this week from my hellofresh box and showing you everything that I get and my recipes that I pick. So thank you to the guys at HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Okay, I've just been getting ready and Rich has just popped out to get some cash for the builders and then I think we're gonna head over to the house. There is still one guy there doing some snagging. There's a lot of snagging, but it will go on for a while, so that is fine. So we're gonna go see him and then the removals guys, I think coming this afternoon. Okay, first load of suitcases full of all my clothes are going in the boot. The removals guys are here much earlier than we thought they were going to be here but luckily we are at the house and i'm excited and nervous rich has turned up with supplies baby wipes to try and get the paint out some of the floor water crispy cream such a good shout oh they're the little ones as well starting to unload the kitchen and I'm very excited that Robert Welch sent me some new cutlery. So we're gonna have all fresh cutlery. Got some like soup spoons, even got some of the like long ones for coffees, which I thought would be cool. So I'm gonna put these in the dishwasher and give them a good clean. Our table looks way too small for the space now and also the color of the wood really clashes with the floor. So that's definitely something I want to get a new like dining table. I think I want to do a bench with chairs, but it's just something we haven't prioritized yet. So it looks a bit strange for now, but we will get a new one. Put all the cutlery in the dishwasher ready to wash, but it's so nice. I absolutely love them. And just slowly started putting stuff away, but haven't even opened the boxes yet. This is just new stuff. I bought this chopping board from Joe Wicks, which I thought was very clever. Essentials in the larder furniture's in it's so strange the love seat looks really good in the blue we need to put the sofa together the coffee table's here our new west elm rug looks great um and now we have a lot more to unpack this is actually one of my favorite things to do this is for the sofa and you like shove it down here <laughs> we're getting some cleaning stuff sent to us to see if we can fix these tiles but in the meantime Look, the mirror's gone up. I love this, it's from Decorum. It looks great and our shelf has been painted gray. I also love it with the black. And I've got a towel hanging here. I'm gonna put my Aesop soap there. Looks really cool. I've been saving all the good candles for when I have a really nice house to burn them in. My mum's come over and we're starting to unpack the kitchen, which is a huge task. So let's see, we're probably gonna do it and then my sister will come and completely redo it also. doing pretty well. We've started to fill the larder with stuff. You know when you first start emptying a kitchen you don't really know where anything goes and then I feel like I'm gonna change my mind about everything once I start using it. But we've put all my millions of mugs out. I think I need to have a cull of mugs. That is a lot right there. Some good ones though. I want more of these from Soho Home. A delivery from Amara which are the two bins that I ordered for both bathrooms I have no idea what they're gonna be like I ordered a grey one and a black one I really wanted the bin from Soho home but it's sold out and expensive so let's see 
Okay, this is the one for the downstairs toilet. I wanted a swing lid. I find um, bins where you have to push a pedal really annoying and not good if you're not good at multitasking. I thought this would go with the gray and the pink. That's quite nice actually. I'll see what that looks like in there. And then the second bin is this one. I think this one is a push lid. Oh. Oh, that kind of push lid where it just like goes like this. Whoop. That's quite good. Who knew I'd ever be doing a bin haul? As I suspected, my sister's come over and she's gonna completely reorganize the kitchen now because this is she's got a weird talent for organizing kitchens. So she's just decided that the tea needs to go on the right hand side so that when I say, do you want a cup of tea? Like this. Okay, go on. Do the, do you want a cup of tea yeah. act. Hi, can I have a cup of tea? What flavor? <laughs> Rich is upstairs building some West Elm furniture, which I'll go and show you, but I'm so done. I'm just like sitting here. I can't be bothered to do any more. Um, we can't really sleep here tonight because we haven't got a duvet or any sort of bedding. We could go back to my parents and get it. Um, I don't know. I might ask Rich what he wants to do. Blue sofa bed is back in. And this is my new West Elm mini desk. I just didn't think that I needed a big desk. This is plenty of room for a laptop, bullet journal, some space in there. Don't need anything bigger than that. And this chair is also from West Elm. I love it. It swiv swivels. Stripes, something a little bit interesting. And yeah, perfect little setup there. Some more West Elm going in here. It's just trying to figure out how to put our bed together because it's like a duvan bed. Um, these are from West Elm and I love them. I feel like for a room that is a bit smaller, these are perfect because they're glass, they're clear, they're mirrored. So it makes you feel like you've got more space than you do than like a bulky bedside table. So I think those are really nice. Good morning, everyone. It's day two of moving in. And first thing we're doing, it's like quarter to nine. Um, we are going to rent a zip van so that we can move all the stuff from my parents' house to our house ourselves with help of our friend, Ben. Good morning. It is the next day. It's Saturday and we're moving all the stuff from my parents' to the house. I think I've already introed this day actually. Sorry, that's confusing. I just got to the house and waited for the electrician because he's coming to connect the TV and the skybox and the doorbell and lots of things like that. Um, and Rich and our friend Ben, who was very kindly helping, um, are on their way in a zip van full of stuff from my parents' house. I think they're gonna have to do two journeys. It's a beautiful sunny day. I've opened the back doors. I've lit some candles because I feel like this house is forever gonna smell like paint. And I think today I'm gonna do my bedroom, maybe my office. Gonna fill the fridge with just like a few basic essentials, like we haven't even got ketchup or anything like that, like eggs, milk. And tomorrow, my HelloFresh comes and my patch delivery um, plants. Very excited for that delivery. So yeah, let's see what happens today. Our zip van is full. I'm just starting to unload it now. Okay, look upstairs, there's so many boxes everywhere. Office is full full of stuff. This is always the last room for me to sort out. Little room is full of stuff and bedroom is full of stuff. We're just having a quick bit of lunch. Um, nothing exciting. I'm having baked beans on toast, which is like typical moving meal. Rich is having peanut butter on toast. Um, my friend Debs, whose dad owns a bakery called Rinkoff's Bakery, bought us um, a loaf of challah, which is delish so thank you Debs then we need to start upstairs okay I'm gonna put the cover back onto our Simba mattress and just try and start sorting out our bedroom a little bit so I've started um, unpacking the suitcases and this is my wardrobe situation so I've got short hang here and then kind of jeans and trousers there. I've got a long hang here. And I think I'm gonna have lots of space because these shelves as well, I don't really know what I'm gonna put there. I'm doing like pajamas, t-shirts and stuff. So I'm just taking it slowly and I will see. I think I just need to like live here for a while and then see how I like to use the wardrobe best. I'm gonna put summer stuff and things I don't need like up right at the top. Maybe handbags up there. <laughs> family's just been over and it's been chaotic to say the least it is I mean my family's mad there's loads of us and there's loads of kids and the kids are 
loud and rowdy and everything in my house is new so there's just no way I could ever be precious about the house because I literally can't the kids come in and they're like running around and like tearing things apart and it's like just have to let it go <laughs> I really don't want to like ruin the mood of every occasion by being like oh don't do this don't do that so and like my dad comes in with his shoes in I just can't I'm not gonna like bark at people to tear their shoes off so it's fine I can just clean the floor um I think I'm gonna attempt to tackle my office a bit because I'm literally surrounded by boxes and I've unpacked all my clothes now Rich has a beer in his hand mm. <sighs> Well deserved, you've been doing more than I have today. Look how nice the light is in my office in the evening. The light just comes down on this corner where my desk is and I absolutely love it. Okay, it's kind of chaotic in the bathroom but I'm starting to sort things like skincare in here and then I've got like the most ridiculous amount of tampons and travel, beauty stuff. I don't know what the order is at the moment. I'm just taking stuff out and seeing where I can put it. Day two done. We're gonna try to sort our bedroom so we can go to bed and then more stuff happening tomorrow. More sorting out to do. Look what just arrived, bright and early, our HelloFresh box. I'm on my way out, I need to go to Ikea, I'm going with my sister, so I'm going to quickly put this in the fridge and then I'll show you when I get back everything that I ordered. Ikea time! We have a massive trolley full of lots of kitchen containers, a rug for my sister, a panda for honey, and these for our wardrobe, these for my onions, some scissors, which I saw and just thought looked like really nice scissors. This for the downstairs cupboard, all kinds of things. Aisle one, location 20, traveling in style. I've just come home and our patch delivery has arrived. Look how exciting this is. We've got two rubber plants. This one and this one. This is a fiddly fig. Um, this one, I can't remember what this is called actually. And one of these. Um, and we got some of the pots as well with the stands. Very excited, just discovered patch and I love it. And I love the videos that tell you how to look after the plants. This one, he said you should dust them. And it said that it will drop its leaves if it's unhappy. Rich, we need to do some plant homework so we can look after these. Yeah. Right, now I need to spread them around the house. Okay, we have had lots of visitors at our house. My sister's been, I quickly popped over to my parents, to my grandma, our friends SJ and Rob just came to see the house. It's been a very eventful weekend. Still got lots of unpacking to do, but I'm excited to be standing in my kitchen, filming my first kind of kitchen vlog section for a video. Me and Rich are starving, we've been working very hard. It's like 10 to 6, the light is so nice in this kitchen in the evening, I love it. So I'm gonna start uh, making dinner. Let me get the HelloFresh bags from the fridge. Okay, so we went for three meals this week because we're not always in every evening and it always seems like a good amount for us. So three meals for two people. And there are loads of different HelloFresh boxes you can pick from. We tend to go for the classic box because it has the kind of recipes we like and it just works best for us. Their weekly menus are developed by chefs and there's a massive variety of recipes to pick from. We're always like really impressed. There's an app and me and Rich both have the app on our phones and every week you can pick the recipes um, that you want in your box. They either automatically pick them or you can pick the ones that you want. We tend to do that because we like to have a mix of like vegetarian and non-vegetarian ones. So then your box arrives, ours comes on a Sunday and inside are the bags with everything you need for those recipes. So all of the ingredients is just provided ready for you to cook and it makes it so so easy i love it some weeks we just can't get it together to do any sort of meal planning or food shopping so this is where hellofresh really comes in so handy hellofresh is a rolling subscription service but you can pause or cancel your delivery um, at any point from the wednesday before your delivery it's really easy to do also if you guys do want to sign up i do have a code so you can get 50 percent off your first and second box and so many of my friends and family used this code last time i had it in my videos and I've converted, I think, both of my sisters and a couple of my friends as well who now use HelloFresh all the time. So my code is DeliciousLily, which sounds hilarious, like you're gonna eat me. Um, I'll put all the info down below with my code and the link of how you can order um, your first and second box with a 50% off discount. So the three meals we have this week, 
these are the recipe cards it comes with a snazzy photo of what it's meant to look like and actually it normally does look the same when we cook it which is impressive and then on the back it has this like step by step easy cooking guide which is very easy to follow and I don't get stressed which is unusual for me so we've got hoisin beef with basma basmati rice pork ragu parpadel Papadelle, papadelle, I don't know, like a pork ragu pasta. And then veggie tikka masala with basmati rice and coriander. Looks like that. I don't know which to have tonight, actually. Maybe the hoisin beef. I'm feeling like I want the hoisin beef. Rich, do you want the hoisin beef? I fancy the ragu. Do you? Rich fancies the pork ragu. Okay, let's try that. Let's do what Rich fancies. So this is... If you look at the bottom corner it has a color and a number so it says green one which means it's this bag garlic pork chopped tomatoes an onion parsley fennel seeds rich i might have to not use those Ooh, like i think that's um like tomato concentrate what's called tomato puree and then fresh pasta oh my god that looks so good Okay, good choice, I'm happy with this one. So that's everything I need, all there, ready to go. I'm gonna start cooking and I will show you guys the final result. Okay, let's get cooking, I'm starving. This is the first time we're using the cooker, I'm scared. Um, it says fill a saucepan full of water, which I can use my boiling hot water tap for. Got the ragu simmering there and the pasta cooking. It's smelling and looking good. This is the finished result. This is Rich's one. I've put parsley on it. I have chosen not to have parsley on mine, but it looks and smells so good. I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. Yum. That was so delicious. Rich, your review? Mm. So good. We both sat down, we were like, oh my god, this is so yum. We tried to watch somebody feed Phil whilst eating because that's our new hobby, um, but our Netflix isn't yet working, something to do with the internet. So I'm gonna do a big wash up now, which I'm excited about because anything to do with the kitchen is fun, even washing up. I'm gonna go have a shower now. I'm very excited, I'm gonna wash my hair and feel all new and clean. Um, and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because it's been a long moving weekend gonna be a long vlog um thank you guys for watching let me know what sort of home content you want because now we're here i mean i don't know if anything's ever gonna feel finished like to the point of doing like kitchen tours and stuff but i want to i do want to so let me know what you want to see and i'll see you guys in my next video which i don't know what it is need to get back into a routine stat bye